good morning, good morning, guys. Look at this. The sun is sort of starting to come up. It's a little bit of daylight out there already, so uh, we're getting ready to hit the road. Are you guys ready to come and finally come on a journey with me again after all this time, me being at home? Well, if you are, right after the intro, that's coming right along with the Trucker Rudy Show. This is it guys, we are back on the road, yep, the sun has uh, arisen, it's up there a little bit, and uh, we are just cruising right on along here, and just giving her, although we are going to make a pit stop here in a little bit, <clears throat> yeah. Your mile marker 127, uh, Sox Center, Minnesota. There's a truck stop there and they have recently added on a little shop there and it says they're open 24 seven. So uh, we're gonna go in there and see if we can get our wheels retorked and my U-bolt there for my axle there for where the spring is attached to the axle there. That needs to be retorked as well so uh, we're gonna go in here and see if we can get that done. Yeah, we don't want our wheels to fall off, do we? No way. We already had enough damage, so we don't need more damage <laughs> on the truck. Yeah. Oh well, let's go in here and see if we can get all of that stuff done, right? That's the plan anyways. I might go in there and have breakfast, but then again, I might not. I haven't quite decided yet, but... Anyways, this is the exit here for Suck Center, Minnesota. So, wish us good luck so we can get our wheels retorked. I really need to get that done, so... Uh, we'll see if we can get her done, right? That's the plan as of right now. We'll find out here in a minute if we can get her done. Oh, there's even a Kenworth dealer right here. Yeah. I guess if you own a Kenworth and you need repairs done by Kenworth, I guess you can get there, but they're closed right now according to what it looks like. Yeah, I even see a door open over there by the shop, so... Well, they must be there. Can't be any other way if they got a door open, right? Well, let's hope they have time to do a retort. Most shops, they, they do it anyways, even if they're busy. Because that only takes a short time to do it, so. so yeah. Let's go find out, guys. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have gotten our wheels retort and all of that fun stuff. Gotten that uh, spring U-bolts uh, there checked. They were all nice and tight. There was a few lug nuts uh, that they were able to tighten up a little bit on the wheels, but that's to be expected, you know? Like, if you have all of your wheels off and uh, put them back on, especially the rear, the rear axle ones, because there's two rims on each axle, so they can always, you know, twist and move a little bit. Then you can generally retighten one or two, you know, so which was the case here too, so we was able to retighten a few of them, so that's why it's very important to get a retort done. And right across the street there there is a uh, Walmart up there, so uh I went across the street to the Walmart, did me a little shopping over there, got me a few groceries there, got me a few uh, sandwich uh well, they got me two of these big buns to make sandwiches, like sandwich, uh, sandwich bread, I guess you could call it. And then uh, got me some smoked turkey to make sandwiches and some tomato, some cheese, all that good stuff. Got me uh, some milk so I can eat cereal in the morning. Yeah, so we're all stocked up again. And Good to go. 
I actually had to clean out my fridge uh, when I picked up my truck because uh, as some of you guys know when my battery gets low I get that alarm in the back there and if it uh, if the battery gets too low the Volvo has got a shutoff system where uh, the uh, batteries will be shut off automatically so nothing will run so because my truck was sitting there the whole week at the shop the batteries got too low and uh, well, basically my fridge <laughs> didn't work, so uh, all of my stuff went bad in there. Yeah, so I had to clean out my fridge and restock everything. Which we just did, so we're happy about that. So here we are, making our way towards North Carolina. Yeah. We still have 1,235 more miles to go, so we wasted two hours up in here today, so we're gonna have to step it up a notch or two. Yeah, that's the way it goes, but took a little bit to get into the shop there and retighten everything and then go over there and do a little shopping. And went inside a subway there and had me a six inch subway sandwich there so so that way I didn't have to make me a sandwich when I come back into the truck yet so here we are now we're good to go for a little while anyways so let's get on down the road and see what happens ladies and gentlemen we have just gone through Minneapolis yes indeed we have and guess what? Now we're going to be entering uh, Wisconsin and look at all of them boaters there to the right there. Wow, there's a lot of boats on the water. <laughs> you almost need traffic control in that water. <laughs> yeah, I mean they do have a big dock over there where all these boats come to, but uh, my goodness there's a lot of boats out there. But, hey, why not enjoy a nice beautiful day like uh, like it is today, beautiful, nice sunny day, not windy whatsoever. Why not enjoy it, right? Before we know it, it's gonna be frozen on that lake, so uh, may as well enjoy it now while we can, right? But yeah, here we are. Just entered Wisconsin. Now we are in Wisconsin. To the left on I 94. Welcome to Wisconsin, everybody. Yeah, that's right. And we got us a heavy load, so we got to gear it down a little bit. I'm still testing the power on this truck since we got our EGR and all of that put in there. Some people say you lose a little bit of power, some say you gain power. I don't know. Some say you lose a little bit on fuel mileage. Some say you gain on fuel mileage. I don't know, I haven't really noticed anything on the fuel mileage part, uh, I mean, I'm looking on my gauges and stuff like that, and I haven't really noticed any change on it, I mean, only time will tell, obviously, I mean, I do enter that into my app, so I'm going to know when I fuel up again, how we are doing on fuel, although I won't be able to fuel all the way up here right away, because I got a heavy load and uh, I gotta be careful on my drives otherwise I'll be over uh, overweight uh, so I can't really run her more than about a half a tank of fuel because otherwise I'll be overweight on, on my drive so uh, when I scaled in the Steinbach there I was right around my limit there with my exemption for my APU unit so uh, so yeah, I gotta be a little careful. I don't fuel her up all the way, you know. But hey, that's not the first time we had to deal with that. We had to do that before. <laughs> I mean, I do have a heavier truck and I do have that moose bumper on there and got the APU unit and everything weighs a little bit, so. So yeah, you gotta keep an eye on it. Especially since North Carolina doesn't have a weight exemption for APU units. 
I looked it up yesterday on the internet. Ahead. And they are the ones that them in Kentucky don't have a weight exemption. Almost every other state does at least have a 400 pound weight exemption. I mean, there's obviously California. They don't have one either, but there's a few other ones that don't. But uh, almost everybody else has got a 400 pound weight exemption, except for uh, a few states that have even a 550 pound weight exemption. So, so yeah, so we got to be careful on that so we're not overweight we don't want to get us an overweight ticket yet either right but anyways cruising right along here well guys we are getting closer and closer to Chicago but we are still not quite there yet but we are at mile marker 169 in Wisconsin so that means we're only about eh, give or take about 20 miles and we'll be in Illinois, oh, that's right. And I'm almost debating on stopping and calling it a day, but then again, I don't know. Should I, should I not? I don't really know. <laughs> but anyways, I still have 836 miles to go, so if I did 600 miles tomorrow, I still have 230 miles today after so that'd be about a five four and a half hour drive probably so I'm kind of debating on whether or not I should stop here already or not I could still go on for another 150 kilometers which would put me right about Gary Indiana but the thing is that would be eight o'clock at night and it would be dark already and be hard to find a parking spot over there I might have to pay for parking so I'm kind of debating on whether or not I'm just going to go ahead and stop over here in South Beloit and call it a day so we'll see what happens but yeah got a little bit of construction going on up here but they're trying to get every little bit done here before summer is completely over right they're hurrying up and finishing everything so but yeah, anyways, we'll see what we will decide on, right? It looks like we are done for today. Yes, indeed we are. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting there at a uh, TA truck stop. And uh, I did my inspection and everything here. And we noticed that a, uh, a stud, a bolt, were... Uh, holding on to a tire is broke off so we went inside of the shop here and they had all kinds of different bolts but we took it off and lo and behold it ain't the right one so uh, we have to order it from Volvo probably and uh, yeah so uh, we're going to be sitting here a little bit tomorrow morning probably waiting for that to come in so uh, hey whatever the way it goes uh, sometimes these things happen so uh, we're just gonna sit here and wait to get a new bolt in now we'll be good to go right but anyways in the meantime we'll go ahead and edit up our videos so that way they are ready to go so with that being said I will go on everybody and we'll catch you on the next one this has been trucker Rudy signing out we'll see you tomorrow morning <laughs>